2 Thessalonians 3, 4 through 7. And we have confidence in the Lord touching you that you both do and will do the things which we command you. And the Lord direct your hearts into the love of God and into patient waiting for Christ. Now we commend you, brethren, in the same of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you withdraw yourselves from every brother that walks disorderly and not after the tradition which he received of us. For yourself, yourselves know how you ought to follow us, for we behaved not ourselves disorderly among you, neither did we eat any man's bread for naught. <clears throat> oh, wait, I think I was only supposed to read to seven. Yeah. Mark 2, 5 through 8. When Jesus, when Jesus saw their faith, he said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. But there was a certain of the scribes sitting there and reasoning in their hearts, Why does this man thus speak blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God only? And immediately when Jesus perceived in his spirit that they so reasoned with themselves, he said unto them, Why reason you these things in your hearts? Hebrews 4.10 For anyone who enters God's rest also rests from their works, just as God did from his. My bad, it was through um, 14. Let us therefore make every effort to enter that rest so that no one will perish by following their example of disobedience. For the word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Nothing in all creation is hidden from God's sight. Everything is uncovered and laid bare before the eyes of him to whom we must give account. Therefore, since we have have a great high priest who has ascended into heaven, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold firmly to the faith we profess. 1 Timothy 4, 9-10 through This is a faithful saying and worthy of all ex acceptation. For therefore we both labor and suffer reproach because we trust in the living God who is the Savior of all men, especially of those that believe. Wow. Isaiah 29, 17-24 Is it not yet a very little while, and Lebanon shall be turned into a fruitful field, and the fruitful field shall be esteemed as a forest? And in that day shall the deaf hear the words of the book, and the eyes of the blind shall see out of obscurity and out of darkness. The meek shall also increase their joy in the Lord, and the poor among men shall rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. The ruthless, the ruthless will vanish, the mockers will disappear, and all who have an eye for evil will be cut down. Those who with a word make someone out to be guilty, who ensnare the defender in court and with false testimony deprive the innocent of justice. Therefore, this is what the Lord who redeemed Abraham says to the descendants of Jacob. No longer will Jacob be ashamed. No longer will their faces grow pale when they see among them their children. The works of the work of my hands, they will keep my name holy. They will acknowledge the holiness of the Holy One of Jacob and will stand in awe of the God of Israel. Those who are wayward in spirit will gain understanding. Those who complain will accept instruction. Wow. Isaiah 44, 8 through 10. Do not tremble. Do not be afraid. Did I not proclaim this and foretell it long ago? You are my witnesses. Is there any God besides me? No, there is no other rock. I know not one. All who make idols are nothing, and the things they treasure are worthless. Those who would speak up for them are blind. They are ignorant to their own shame. Who shapes who shapes a god and casts an idol which can profit nothing? Romans five sixteen through seventeen, and not as it was by one that sinned, so is the gift. For the judgment was by one to con condemnation, but the free gift is of many offenses unto justification. Wow. For if by one man's offense death reigned by one, much more they which receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Deuteronomy 7, 5-8 
But thus shall you deal with them. You shall destroy their altars and break down their images and cut down their groves and burn down their graven images with fire. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a, a special people unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth, the Lord did not set his love upon you nor choose you because you were more in number than any people, for you were the fewest of all people, but because the Lord loved you and because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers, has the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen from the hand of Pharaoh king of Egypt. First John 5:12 He that has the son has life and he that has not the son of God has not life. Job 22:1 through 5 Then Eliphaz the Ten- Temanite answered and said, Can a man be profitable unto God as he that is wise may be profit profitable unto himself is it any pleasure to the almighty that thou art righteous or is it gain to him that thou makest thy ways perfect will he reprove thee for fear of thee will he enter with thee into judgment is not the wickedness great and thine in thy wickedness great and thine iniquities infinite psalm 12 3 through 6 the Lord shall cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that speaks proud things. Who has said with our tongue we will prevail? Our lips are our own. Who is Lord over us? For the oppression of the poor, for the sighing of the needy, now will I ra- arise, says the Lord. I will set him in safety from him that puffs at him. The words of the Lord are pure words, as silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. Psalm 105, 1 through 7. Give praise to the Lord, proclaim his name, make known among the nations what he has done. Sing to him, sing praise to him, tell of all his wonderful acts. Glory in his holy name, let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Look to the Lord and his strength, seek his face always. Remember the wonders he has done, his miracles and the judgments he pronounced. You, his servants, the descendants of Abraham, his chosen ones, the children of Jacob, he is Lord, oh, he is Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. Amen. Last one. First Peter 2 9. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Wow. I love you guys in Christ. And um, yeah, this is from yesterday's message from Jesus, the third message he gave. Guys, he's really trying to wake up his people, including his bride, because they're coming against what he has ordained um, without first seeking him with a pure heart, free from contempt, free from condemnation and judgment. Um, if you don't understand something that someone is doing, seek the Lord with a pure and loving heart and ask him if it is of him. Ask him if the person and their actions are of him and if, if because n- not all meets the eye you don't know the whole background on everything you don't understand and if you first make judgments before seeking jesus himself about it he is not happy because you're condemning people are condemning his his anointed and um coming against what he has ordained and listen to his words in his messages and read like listen to the scriptures It's very clear that it's the Lord. I love you in Christ. God bless.